It's day two of Autograph Fest, and we're racing in to one of the most fun car shows you'll ever see. Speaking of racing, you're losing. Do you guys want to see what a single display case with almost $10 million worth of cards looks like? It's this one right here. This is probably the craziest single display case you will ever see in your life. Starting off with that Brady Playoff Contenders two and a half million dollar asking price on that card. How about that Steph Curry Topps Chrome Refractor there, $350,000 asking price. You've got amazing Jordans like this card or how about this card from 2003 Exquisite. What an unbelievable card, asking price $750,000 for that one. You've got more incredible Jordan. Wherever you look, there's all kinds of ridiculous stuff. That is amazing. You better bring your money bags if you wanna do some deals at this table. The energy has really picked up on day two of Autograph Fest here at the American Dream Mall. And I'm particularly excited today because my son Reeves here is ready to buy some big cards. I'm gonna help him hunt for some deals on the show floor. So what are you looking for, buddy? Um, oh, like a graded, good rookie football at quarterback. So you want something graded, something from like a, a good set? So that one's not bad. That Burrow Hyper Prism, it's a nine, number to 175. But I'd rather something in a 10. So is there, you think you think Burrow specifically, or what are yeah. you thinking? Yeah, or something of that nature, like Herbert PSA 10, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think both of those guys are probably gonna heat up right before the season starts. Exactly. It's generally a good time to buy football right now, because we're right in the middle of the off season. Nice to meet you, man, finally got to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, I think if you're gonna buy a good card, like let's try to get something maybe numbered. He's got a nice Tua back there from Panini one? 1, if you wanted to look at that one. How much do you value that? That one, honestly, I was valuing it at about 1200 That's pretty cool too. Dual Auto, Dan Marino, Tua. And that's kind of a Dolphin Spectre item. Right, as opposed to an investment card so much. Still a pretty neat card. It's an awesome card, yeah. Yeah, that's a little more of an investment card. Obviously, it's pretty nice. I'll probably come back. Okay, all right, cool. yeah, all right we'll think about those ones. Really awesome, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Reese has challenged me to this $10 wheel spin competition here with all these great prizes. Reese, is this gonna be better item, winner takes all? Yes. 41, that's a high, oh no. Yay! Oh no. Whoa! Oh, that's pretty neat. I want, because he's mossing him. You like that one? You like the action shot? Yes. Okay. I picked mine. 30! 30. 30, what's 30? Oh, no. no, those look oh. awesome. Oh. Hold on, was this good to... Oh, no. ow, ow, no, that's, ah! no, 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 stop, stop. I want the Odell Beckham no. figure. No, no. Yes, no. yes. No. Yes. We could ask some random people what they think. I don't see any random people though. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna like that, that's creepy. Hey, how you doing? We should ask him. All right, hey, you wanna be our judge? There's item number one, Odell Beckham Tiki. There's item number two. Item number two. A dude player, uh, San mossed. Francisco 49ers guy getting mossed. No! Yes! Yes! Why I did won. you pick the creepy Odo Beckham I doll? Won. Thank you. Why did you thank pick you. the creepy Odo thank Beckham you. doll? Thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you for being our judge. Thank you for awarding me the victory. No. That's a card Not gift pack thank for you. Thank you. Awesome. Un thank Enjoy you. the card show. Yeah. Un thank you. Not thank you. Un thank you. Odell. No! Odell. No, stop. No Odell. one wants to see that. Odell. No one wants to see that. Remember these? I used to have a lot of these when I was a kid. And the toy market is hot again. It's gonna be interesting to see how that translates over to collectible toys within sports cards like these. There are some rumors. I don't know if they're true or not, but there are rumors that Fanatics may bring back this type of product into the trading card world in the upcoming years. Could that mean a surge for classic vintage toys? Only time will tell.
I gotta get one of these 33 Gaudi Babe Ruths at some point. There were four different Babe Ruth cards in that 33 Gaudi set. That's one of them right there. This so is there... another This is another 33 Gaudi Babe Ruth right there too. So that's well, one of the most is... iconic baseball sets of all time. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. The Silver Prism Select. How much is this one? Last yeah, sale. So last sold for seven fifty-five. One right before that sold for seven ten. Okay. It's a pretty good price. This card hit as high as twenty six hundred dollars back right before the Super Bowl. I mean, that one I think is a pretty good. Oh, one. I think I should get That's that. That's the Silver Prism Field Level, how much which is, I really like. And then how Personally, much is that? I really like that. And then how much is that? You want me to look up that one? Yeah. yeah. Seven oh nine. So it's right in the same neighborhood. The last sale of that one. And that one got as high as about fifteen hundred dollars. What I like about the Optic Hollows and what I like about the Select, you know, Silver Prisms, is these are both fairly low population compared to so many modern cards and, and granted there's a lot made but those at least especially in tens are a little more rare so he said 1300 for the pair six okay you got 600 and then you have about 1100 dollars uh in the bank of dad from all the cards you sold uh at, at the last few trade nights 1300 plus 250 is is 1500 oh you're thinking about picking that up as well I might pick up that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh, and that one. I just want you to, I want you to check this okay. one too. Okay, if you got two Burroughs and two Herberts, then the nice thing is if there's a run up in prices before the season starts, which there probably will be, you could sell one of the Herberts and one of the Burroughs, but then you could hold on to the other one if you wanted to. I so actually, which one are you looking at, this one? Yeah, Okay. because 1,300 for the pair, yeah. we're at 1,550. Yeah, this one you could, that one definitely you should be able to get for less than that because there was a sale of that for even below $200 recently. So say just like 200 Yeah, and I'm sure you can negotiate and get a little bit of a bulk discount on all this stuff, right? So 1500 right now. This one is most recent sale for 311 uh, sales for as low as around 300 I think those are pretty good cards because they're pretty liquid to move in and out of. Like they're not the, you know, they're not the rarest cards, certainly. And they're not like, you know, patch autos and that kind of thing, but they're very liquid. So if these are cards that liquid, meaning that it's easy to buy and sell. So, so if these are cards 13, that you think you might want to move out of. If we say that's 200, that'd be 15. Mm -hmm. And if that sold for as low as 300, would you do 250 that, on it? That one's like right around, last sales of that were 311, 301, and 315. So 1750 is where he's at for all four of those. Would you do 650 for all of them? I think that's a pretty good deal. You if you do. can all four of them for 17. 1700 bucks, that's significantly below eBay comps on those four cards. But here's the thing. I'm thinking, would I have traded all of those cards away for these cards? And the answer is probably yes. I have six right here. And there's 1100. Yeah. If you want to do it. If I want to do it. I'll do it. Damn. Got it. See the cards. Wow, look at this. Wow. Look at this. Herbert, Burrow, PSA 10, all the way, my friends. Yes, let's go. Yes, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. The biggest deal, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. Hey, thanks. Thank Absolutely. Very fair deal. All right, I'm proud of my son. For the last few weeks, he's been selling a lot of his cards to get cash for this card show. What yep. do you think, buddy? How do you feel about that deal? I feel good. That was the biggest purchase you've ever made in your life of anything, right? Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Ow, I did it. I did it. That's it from Autograph Fest, but what a fun show this was. Thanks to Rick Probstein and his team for putting on such a great card show. And if you guys enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Also, check out Market Movers with its card recognition feature. Try it for free with seven days with promo code trial. Go to sportscardinvestor.com and click on Market Movers in the main menu bar. That's it, guys. What did you think, Reeves? I think it was an awesome show. Awesome. We had a great time. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon with our next episode. Take care. Bye.